Hi guys, it's Rain Foxy, and I have a Q&A video for you guys today. So the other day, I made a post on Instagram and Twitter asking for any questions that you guys had, whether it be about my art or ragtime or whatever. Uh, and you guys give me a lot of questions. So I went through and pulled out some of my favorites, some of the most interesting ones. So let's just get started with those. So for the first question, Woosip3 on Instagram asked, what inspires you to draw the most? I would guess I would say music is a really big inspiration. Like whenever I hear a cool new song, I'm like, oh, I gotta draw something for the song and blah, blah, blah. That's pretty much the force behind almost all my personal works. It's like, oh, this is a cool song. I'm gonna do something cool for this song. And that kind of leads into the second question I pulled, which was, when did you get Ragtime and what inspired you to make him? From XSW865 on Instagram. So I got him as a fursuit last fall. Oh God, he's not as old as I thought he was. <laughs> the inspiration for him was largely based on Ragtime music. That's actually where the name comes from, if you didn't know that. But it is an early 1900s style of music that's, how do I describe it? It's very, like, swing, swingy and piano, kind of the precursor for the swing and big band. Scott Joplin was kind of the founder of it all, and he was a really cool dude. Like, if you haven't listened to his songs, it's really amazing. But the Maple Leaf Rag is my favorite song, so that was pretty much the inspiration behind Ragtime. So go listen to that if you kind of wanted to know. Splash Wolf there on Instagram asked, how did you pick your first seat maker? I've kind of told the story to some people before, but me getting ragtime was pretty much an impulse buy. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, I was looking to get another character made actually by another maker and waiting for them to open, but then I saw Autumn Fallings had opened up their first two commissions, so I'm like, oh that's cool, I'll submit that character for that, and it was um, Savage. If you've known me for a while, you might recognize that name, which is an old, this old character of mine, but I noticed that they didn't want, they wanted to do like realistic colored and kind of grumpy suits, which Savage was neither of those, so I was like, oh, I'll submit her anyway. And then a couple of days went by and I was actually watching a tiny chat of uh, AJ working. It's pretty much who Autumn Fallings is. And I was like, oh, I actually have this other character that I just made that kind of fits that bill. So maybe I'll submit him too. And there was like a little section for a name and I'm like, oh god, this character doesn't have a name yet. And I was like, I, I like ragtime music. That's sure let's do that like the character kind of reminds me of, of the old tiny 1900s. So I submitted that and then you know I got ragtime. So to get away from fursuits for a second, Nighttime Butterflies on Instagram asked, what's your favorite kind of cake? This is a very odd question, but I have a very specific answer. It has to be yellow cake with chocolate icing. Like that is the best kind of cake. You can't like argue for any other kind. That's just the best kind. If you've never had that cake, what are you doing? Like go, go live, go have that cake. And then Swag Plushy Golden Freddy on Instagram asked, what is favorite fruit? I adore apples. Like watermelon is good too, but I think apples kind of tops it for me. Cause I live in the Northern part of Georgia and we have a lot of apples here. So if you go during fall, which is apple season to like the orchards and get your apples, guys, they're so good. Like I can't eat apples during any other part of the year now cause they're just gross. But like good, like sweet apples. Oh. And then Nuka872 on Instagram asked, do you like bananas? And if so, what is the correct way to peel them? I have a love-hate relationship with bananas, to be honest. I'll like bananas, and I'll you know, eat, be eating one, and then mid-bite, I'll be like, I don't want this banana in my mouth anymore. I want to vomit. <laughs> I don't know if it's like I eat them too fast or something, but the taste suddenly is like, no. My brain is like, get this out of your mouth. It's poisonous. And the correct way to peel them, I peel them from the top like a normal person. I think you're supposed to do it from the bottom, right? Um, I don't know. What's your best first shooting experience slash memory? All right, well. Lightningstar1389 on Instagram asked, what is your best first dating experience slash memory? And then what's your worst first dating experience? It's kind of hard to choose a best one, but I think one of my favorite ones to like look back upon was um, I was at a bowling meet in ragtime. It's actually the first time I ever wore him outside of my room, basically. So that was fun in itself. But there was this like little girl, like probably six or seven, who was enamored with ragtime. She kept coming over and like wanting a hug, you know, doing talking to me, stuff like that. Like throughout the night, like several hours, this kept went on. Like, she was so cute. I was very happy to like play with her. But for the last time she came up, she was like in tears kind of like because she had to leave. And she was like, do you do birthdays? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. And I'm like, are you leaving? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And I like hugged her. It was so sweet. Like I teared up. 
And these next two questions are also kind of similar. That gay canine dragon on Instagram asked, if a little kid asks you for a hug or a high five, how does that make you feel? And Ren underscore 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 on Instagram asked, if you were ever in a grump suit, would you break character for little kids so you don't make them terrified of you? I love interacting with kids. One of the best parts about first dating to just like make them smile and play with them. And honestly, I never really act that grumpy in rack time anyway. So I definitely just act cute around kids. Like I don't try and be mean to them or anything. Don't think that would be good. <laughs> If you've ever seen me at a con, chances are I'm probably like acting like I would if I was wearing a cute suit, but I'm wearing ragtime, which just makes him cute. Cam underscore Ubo, I don't know if I said that right, on Instagram, asked, what brought you into the fandom and what were your thoughts on it before you were part of it? So I've always been really into anthropomorphic stuff. Like I read Redwall as a kid, which is basically furry animals in the medieval times. It's a really cool book series. Like Warrior Cats, I was into that basically everything, and I would draw anthropomorphic characters all the time. Like, I would write about them and stuff like that, but I didn't know that furry was a thing. So I, I would always, like, draw them, and my friends would be like, oh, don't, don't draw furries, man. Like, don't get involved in that. That's some, like, weird stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I, I'll stay away from it then. So I would, like, you know, hide my secret furry drawings. But what really kind of introduced me to the online culture and fandom was Kajani Lyons videos. If you don't know who he is, I can probably link him in the description. But he did and does a lot of cool, like, first seating, volunteering stuff, and like, for kids, charity events. I'm like, oh, this isn't weird. Like, my friends were talking about this is really cool. A side note, which is actually really cool, is I met Kajani at BLC very briefly, just at like the first suit photo. Yeah, I doubt he knew it was me because I was wearing Friday Sakun suit at the time, but it was still cool to like basically tell him, you're why I'm here right now, thanks. <laughs> Mythical dot underscore dot wolf on Instagram asked, what is your best slash favorite con memory? I don't know if I can choose a single best one, but BLFC this year was really fun. The whole Cornelius Onion incident was amazing. And just getting to meet all these like cool people. I don't, I can't really choose one specific memory, but just, I love going to conventions. <laughs> Talani with a bunch of eyes on Instagram asked, if Ragtime wasn't a Pine Martin, what would he be? I would probably say either a cat because the comic Lackadaisy was a pretty big influencing factor on him as well, which is basically about the Roaring Twenties if everybody was cats. It's a really cool comic if you haven't read it. Or some other kind of mustelid, like a wolverine or like a weasel. I mean, he's already a weasel, but some other kind of weasel because uh, Redwall was uh, also kind of an influencing factor, so any kind of vermin type critter would work. Laughing like a hyena on Instagram asked, if you could visit one country in the world with your friends, where would it be and why? I would absolutely take my roommates and my friends and we would go to Japan and buy everything in Japan. I'm such a like weeb and my roommates are weebs and like we would just have a blast there. It'd be so fun. Zoms the Wolf on Instagram asked, have you ever passed out in suit while studying at cons, meets, or just for fun? Also, how long have you been in the fandom? Two questions, I guess. I've never come close to passing out while in suit. I guess the closest I've come was at marching band camp one year. We were like doing our little drills, I had my clarinet, whatever. I'm like, I'm not feeling great, but nobody feels great at band camp, you know? And like, suddenly my vision starts going black and I'm like, maybe I'm not okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just sit down. I was like, feeling around. You know how it is like when you stand up too fast and like you get really dizzy? It was like that, but I was already standing. So yeah, I sat down for about an hour. I was fine after that, I don't know. And for how long I've been in the fandom? It's gotta be going on three years, about three years. Actively being furry or whatever you wanna call it. The Wild Soul 15 asked, how old were you got in the fandom? I was 17 at that point, I believe. I just turned 17. Flame Clan Official asked, what's your oldest OC slash persona? I assume they mean characters I'm still using because I have tons and tons of characters from when I was like, in elementary school and middle school. But the oldest one now would be Ashfall, uh, cause he's an old Warrior Cats OC that I kind of refurbished into just a cat. But he's my baby, I love him. Claws Made of Jelly asked, do you ever think that you'll change your main persona, Ragtime, to a different one? First of all, Ragtime is not my persona. He is not me by any means. I guess the closest character to a persona that I have is either Kay, the deer, or Ash. Neither of them are me, per se, but they're the most similar to who I personally am. And I'll definitely probably change them. I'm not the same person I was two years ago, and I will probably be different two years from now. So obviously, a static character could not represent me like that. Toki Raver Wolf on Twitter, hi Toki, asked, what was the first cosplay you did before you became a first suitor? So I'm gonna count like the first cosplay award of convention, because if I don't, 
It might be the silver, the hedgehog fursuit I made for Halloween my sophomore year of high school, and that was... That was a piece of work. But the first, like, official kind of cosplay I did was Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan. I wore that to Momocon three years ago. Three years ago? And it was actually pretty good. I enjoyed wearing it. Um, I haven't really worn it since, just because it's a pain to put on. And it was basically like my first cosplay, my first anime convention, and it went pretty well, I think. I had a, I had a good time with that. Alscott05 on Twitter asked, how many cons have you been to before you got your suit? Two, mm, three. Wait, four conventions, I believe? No. Five, mm, no. I believe it is six conventions. Three anime conventions and three furry conventions. Two FWAs, two Momocons, one AWA, one Megaplex, that's right. At Megaplex and AWA, however, I did have Tomic, my lesser known suit. Woo, say hi, buddy. He's so big, I can't really fit him on the camera. Yeah, this is actually a suit that I mostly made. The base was by, I can't remember her new name, but she used to go by Radcat Blackat. So the base is really well done. I didn't do the best job of finishing him, but he was good to wear for two conventions and he doesn't get quite as much love now, but I still like him as a character. Hi, I'm Trash on Twitter, same. Asked, what's your favorite part about your suit and what's your least? It's so hard to choose just one favorite thing because it's all great. I love the tail a lot. I love the his bod the bottoms of his feet. I love the the dropped crotch and the digi legs. Like it's also fantastic. The nose is really good. As for the my least favorite part, I can show you. So I do love the like how the nose is, but it's actually pretty noticeably crooked. So you can see how now I'm holding him pretty straight, and the nose is is pretty crooked. You can tell a little better from the bottom as well. Wow, like you can see more of this or er, this nostril than this one. It's pretty minor though. I don't really care. Most people don't even notice until I tell them anyway. I certainly didn't notice until I like really looked at it. No suit is 100% symmetrical, so I totally understand that. For the final question, Atlas Inu on Twitter asked, "What would you recommend to someone who wants to get better with their art?" Just one word: practice. That's literally it. Just keep drawing and keep trying new things and you will get better. I look back on art I used to draw like even six months ago and I'm like, oh, I'm so much better than I was six months ago. That's because during those six months I kept drawing, obviously, and I got better. It's amazing looking back on art I did when I was like 10 or 12 and it's like, oh my god, it's so bad. But that's because I was 10 or 12 and I hadn't even really been drawing much, you know? So anybody is capable of getting better at art. It just takes time and practice. So those were all the questions I pulled from this video. A lot of them were very similar, so I just kind of picked one of them. But if you have a question that didn't get answered in this video, or you just thought of one while watching the video or something, go ahead and comment that below. And if I get enough, maybe we'll do another video. I don't know. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.